Well, this weekend, Montgomery County will hold its first expungement and shielding clinic for those adversely affected by criminal records. And joining us now to discuss the event is Karen York with the Job Opportunities Task Force. And welcome here to the program. How are you? Thank, Thank you for joining us. Yes. Tell us why you're holding the clinic this, this weekend. Absolutely. Last legislative session, during the 2015 legislative session, there were a number of bills that were passed and became law on October 1st. And these bills would restrict public access to criminal history for Marylanders. And the reason why these bills passed and became laws is because there are a number of Marylanders who have interacted with the criminal justice system. Many of them have records as a result of a guilty conviction. Many have records that um, consist of arrest and charge that did not result in a conviction. However, they are appearing um, in random background checks. So when you're going to apply for a job, when you're going to apply for an apartment, um, in Maryland, there's something called Maryland Judiciary Case Search. And this is an online database that has, that provides access to criminal charges, whether they're convictions or just arrests. And so you have a number of Marylanders that are unable to access employment and housing because of this criminal record. And so we're hosting um, this expungement and shielding clinic this Saturday to provide access to these expungement and shielding laws for individuals seeking uh, this opportunity. And who would you suggest to come to this clinic? Should it be somebody who knows for sure that they should come, or is it open to people who aren't sure? It's open to anyone. Any time that you think that you've interacted uh, with the criminal justice system, or if you feel that you've received a ticket, or whether you um, have any interactions in terms of the court system, you should definitely come down to the Silver Spring Civic Center and meet with an attorney, and they'll be able to pull up your record and determine what charges you have and what charges are eligible for either expungement or shielding. Tell us the difference between expungement and shielding. Yes, so in Maryland, expungement is defined as the complete obliteration of the record, and only certain charges are eligible for expungement. So you only have about seven um, offenses if they, if found guilty, that are eligible for expungement. They're called nuisance crimes, so like panhandling, public urination, or arrest and charges that do not result in conviction. Those are eligible for expungement and would be obliterated. Shielding is different in that while the public may not have access to to your criminal record. Certain employers and licensing entities and agencies and, of course, state's attorneys and judges would retain access to the record. And now, tell us briefly, uh, we have less than a minute, is there a fee involved in this? Um, there is a $30 court filing fee per, ch per case. However, to attend the event and to meet with attorneys, it's absolutely free. You do not have to bring any money with you, just bring yourself, and you can meet with attorneys, and they will be able to advise you for free. Is there more help on the way in the legislature in terms of, of laws in this area? Absolutely. You know, as I mentioned, in 2015, we passed a number of laws, but there's still so much more that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. You still have a number of Marylanders that still need access. So we're coming back in 2017, and, you know, we're coming back with legislation to further expand access to expungement for those Marylanders that are truly deserving. And the governor's expected to sign some bills coming up in the near future. So next October, there should be some changes as well. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Thank you, Karen. Okay. Thank, Thank you. And the expungement shielding clinic takes place this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Silver Spring Clinic building. The address, one veteran's place in Silver Spring.